In 1966, Ford was determined to enter the muscle car wars. Two years earlier, they'd gotten the jump when they delivered the first punch by introducing the Mustang in the pony car wars. But this was a different game. We're talking mid-sized muscle here. Ford had no credible response to the almighty GTO. So in 66, they decided to use their newly restyled Fairlane body and plug in the 390, which had been re-engineered. 390 making it an S-code GT or GTA. Now, the new 390, to make sure that it would be competitive, would have new heads, uh, new intake manifold, and a big Holley carburetor. And the results were 335 horsepower and 427 foot-pounds of torque. That's a lot of torque. Motor Trend Magazine in October of 1965 showed the thing running at zero to 60 at 6.8 seconds, quarter mile at 15.2 seconds, 92 miles per hour. Those are smoking hot numbers for 50 years ago. Now, not only was the car fast and competitive with the GTO, by the way, so Ford achieved its goals, but it was luxurious and beautiful. I just loved the red accents, the red line tires, the burgundy red interior popping off this black paint. And I love these 390 emblems. They're just bold. They tell you this car is special. And if you didn't get the message, there are GT emblems in four different places. One on the grill, one on each side of the car, and one on the rear of the car. But the beauty doesn't end there. Come look inside this car. It's absolutely gorgeous. Check out this beautiful interior. I love everything about it, starting with the color. This red burgundy color is just gorgeous. It almost has like a metallic look to it. And of course, the design elements in here are fantastic, starting with this, this console with this super cool shifter selector indicator. I love that. And the Fairlane GT emblem uh, in the center top portion of it to let you know you're in a super special car. The seats are a thing of beauty too with the two different patterns and the inserts. It's, they're just beautiful. And then there's the door panels. The door panels are, they're wrapped in stainless in two different locations and they've got the really cool GT Fairlane emblem on it. And then the, who wouldn't love the door handles that have the built-in courtesy lights and emergency or safety lights when you open your doors. And it's just all fantastic stuff. Ford. No one made a better looking interior than Ford back in the 60s, and this might be one of the better ones that they made. It's very, very impressive. This car was special in every way, and uh, very rare in 1966, and all the more rare today. Well, let's, uh, let's start it up. Let's listen to the motor, let's listen to the exhaust, and let's go for a test drive. All right, let's look under the hood. You're gonna love this. That is a thing of beauty. The 390, all re-engineered and made to go fast. And this car would definitely get it. You'll see that here in a minute in the test drive video. Now what you see under here is a very orig original presentation. It's basically exactly the way it would have come from the factory. Uh, this little car has won concourse judging in the Fairlane Nationals, so I guess it's a pretty accurate representation of what it looked like when it was new. I love the chrome valve covers. I love this huge, big block blue motor. And then of course you see all the options are readily visible, the power steering, the power brakes, the air conditioning, and the big giant motor. All right, well, let me fire it up. Very smooth. Let's go around and listen to the exhaust. Sounds fantastic. Well, let's go on that test drive. Okay, we'll be to the highway in just a minute here, and this car, you have to understand, it's rated at 335 horsepower. That's 15 horsepower more than the 
big block Mustang, the Esco GT, the same period. And it's the same type Street Fighter, but in a tuxedo. It's silky smooth, it's luxurious, it's comfortable, but it's a Street Fighter nonetheless. Uh, it doesn't lack for power. I think you'll find that real clear. definitely go. Very impressive. But it's a, like I said, a silky smooth boulevard cruiser too. This is a get your grandkids and cruise through the neighborhood. No loud noises, no bad habits. The power steering and power disc brake options make this thing so drivable. Okay, watch this tight turn with one hand. I, I would say one pinky, but I'll hold on with one hand, but just watch how easy it is to turn this big block convertible around. So there's the palm of one hand, open fingered, no problem. Going to go over some rough railroad tracks here and it'll take it just beautifully. You know, the best way to describe this car is silky smooth, luxurious, and fast. And it really is. It has had 50 years to prove out its driveline. The 390 is a, a Stallworth motor. It's very robust, great reputation. C6 transmission, uh, you only got that transmission with the big block, and it'll take the torque, all 427 foot-pounds of torque. And then there's everybody's favorite, the third member of the driveline, the rear end, and it's the nine inch Ford rear end. And this one happens to be a posse. That's a, another option above and beyond the standard nine inch rear end. So it really has a great drive line. You know, and the 390 makes the car feel light and nimble, and it's not a light car. definitely go. Well, that's it for your test drive in a very rare 1966 Ford Fairlane GTA S Code 390. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. If you enjoyed it, click like and subscribe to our channel and go to our website, myrod.com. Tyler and I, my son, we're passionate about these classic cars and we're treasure hunters. We look for the real keepers. We may end up with something that you love as well. So come check us out. Okay, adios.